This podcast is brought to you by Australia's LGBTQIA plus community media organisation, Joy. Keep Joy on air by becoming a member, a subscriber or donate. Head to joy.org.au. Joy, a diverse sound for a diverse community. Welcome to a Joycast from Joy 94.9. Visit joy.org.au to find out more about our Joycasts. Superstar in the in, in the in the studio, <laughs> David. I, I think I know. I, I hear that you have a, a pseudonym, another another name that you go by. I do. Is, is, it, is it called the Art Hunter? That's right. It's called <laughs> the Art Hunter, and I launched it this last week. And um, you two were at at the launch, a, a very successful launch. And what the, what the Art Hunter is is that I do as a YouTube channel. And I interview, and everyone that's involved in it are volunteers. Uh, you know, like all the the film crew uh, and uh, and myself, and and the, we get the Alex Theatre give it to us for nothing. So everything is done by volunteers. And I I interview a different artist every week, and it's visual artists, uh, it's um, a performing artist, it's opera singers, it's writers, it's playwrights, uh, and uh, and you know, like, and I'm very very excited that it's often running so it's really great timing straight after covid or during covid because it is ongoing and we're in and out of lockdowns a lot of artists didn't have much exposure or work in that time what kind of brought this project on well uh, do you know it's the most bizarre things because of uh, uh, sunday arts uh, magazine i've got to know so many artists over the years and you know like or just here in st kilda i live in st kilda and now joy's in st kilda as well and I, and you know, like you're sitting in a cafe, and all of a sudden you might chat to somebody, and all of a sudden you realise they're an artist of some degree, and and you know, like, oh, okay, well, you know, like, hey, I might interview you one, you one day on Sunday Arts, or, and then you stay friends with them, and and then I was offered to do this recording at the Alex Theatre. These these two brothers, um, who who you know, like, are, are superstars in in that whole TV world, and they said, would you? Like like to do a, um, a a show supporting the arts, and I went, oh my god, yeah! And so it, it's you know, like, and I've I've got thirteen interviews in the can, and uh, the first one was released last week. Marie Coot, she came up with the name Art Hunter, and also designed the the logo that I have, and uh, and we've spoken to her uh, Neil many mm. times on Sunday Arts over the years. She's an extraordinary artist, uh, and and she's also an author, illustrator, self-published. Uh, she's actually part of an exhibition in Seoul right now. Uh, she should be there, but unfortunately she can't be uh, for one of her, or well, a, a multitude of her books that she's written. And one of the books that I, and I talk a bit about in the interview that I do with her in on The Art Hunter, is uh, it's called Azaria. And it's uh, the story of Azaria Chamberlain, uh, Lindy Chamberlain's daughter, uh, and it's done as a nursery rhyme for children, but telling the true story. And I went, well, isn't that a little bit, you know, like sort of not the nursery rhyme? And she, and she actually said to me, I think on Sunday Arts at one stage, she said, well, think about it. Think of the nursery rhymes from hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Um, they were pretty, you know, like... You know, like grim. Like, grim, <laughs> yes, brothers grim. Yeah, lots uh, of plague ooh. nursery rhymes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and, and I went, okay. And it's also teaching kids the, the history of something that's really important that's been swept under the carpet a lot of the time here in Australia. So there's people like that that I've 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 interviewed and uh, and you know like an artist um uh you know like who was on the streets of New York painting and then all of a sudden got a studio in uh, the the Chrysler building and and you know like and and was painting the Empire State Building across um, Ma- uh, Marco is the artist I'm talking about there you know like artists like this that are doing extraordinary things and and here I am you know like interviewing so uh, David in your interviews what 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 do you cover do you cover a little bit of background on them or or, or the or the works that that they're doing so you know a little bit of an insight into, into yeah it, it's not so much uh, about 
uh, an, an exhibition or a show they're in right now. It's more their backstory and who they are as an artist. So I talk about where they, you know, like they began and you know their studies and 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 you know why they got involved in the form of art that they got involved in, and then trace their their history of their art. And because a lot of the the art is really quite bizarre, and it's quite in you know, and you go, how do people's minds come up with this stuff? And it's wonderful that I'm giving these these artists an opportunity to talk about their uh, their art and where where else are they going to go these days? You know, they might get the odd interview, and it's usually around the time of uh, when there's an exhibition on or a play that they're in. And and you know, like, and for instance, I'm interviewing uh, this week, and it won't be on for another couple of weeks. Joanna Murray Smith, who's the a, a, a playwright yeah. uh, who's very famous around the world. You know, she has plays uh, in New York, London, Berlin, uh, and of course here in Australia. As, as a matter of fact, her um, her last play called Berlin was playing uh, at the Melbourne Theatre Company when we went into the last two week lockdown. Mm. So I uh, went online; you could watch it online. Uh, so you know, like uh, it's uh, it's big names like her, uh, and but it's also a lot of little artists who are coming up. Uh, up the ranks or who will never make it big time but they've got really great little interesting stories so please follow me uh, as I said it's a YouTube and I'm called The Art Hunter and uh, you can uh, go to the arthunter.tv and and that's uh, where you'll find the the YouTube. And they should subscribe to the channel too, shouldn't they? Absolutely so you don't have to go looking for it every week or just all of a sudden pop up for you as well. So so how have you found um Obviously, you know that you, you want to try and showcase the the artist and everything else. But what how have how have you found the experience basically? With- it has probably been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Apart from being here at Joy, um, it would come in close to what I'm doing at Joy. The opportunity to do these interviews with these fabulous artists, and the fact that it's I've got a worldwide audience with it um, on YouTube, uh, and 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 the fact that I am supporting the arts is my big ambition, and it's what I'm doing here with this show. Yeah, you've been a great advocate for the arts for a long time now. And I think having a visual medium to be able to actually show people exactly what you're talking about is just this wonderful extra element Mm. in addition to all the arts interviews you do through Joy as well. Yeah. Well, the lovely thing is that when when, we're doing the uh, the interview on on the the Art Hunter and all of a sudden they're talking about a particular piece of art or a book that they've written or whatever it is, uh, the images come up. So therefore, mm. uh, people relate to it straight away, um, and and can have that insight into it. So it it's actually goes hand in hand beautifully with this show. Mm. Uh, you know, like with Sunday Arts and uh, the Art Hunter go hand in hand. So well, it's, it's, it sounds really good, David. I I, I wish you lot all the success with that one. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. And and I've just got to thank everyone that's uh, been involved in it. Everyone's been a volunteer. You know, like the artwork. Um, you know, like the the theme music. Everyone has volunteered their time. The website was um, somebody helped me with that. Yeah, you know, I haven't I haven't done any have to pay for anything. And I even did a crowdfunding to get money to promote it through social media. And and I doubled what I wanted as well. So you know, like so. Please now, listeners out there, it's your turn to support um, the Art Hunter and go and watch it. I can't wait. So come on, people! <laughs> I can't believe you two haven't already watched the first episode. Shame on you! We're it's, at the launch. Exactly, it's, it's queued up. To, it's queued up. You know, it's yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so as so the Art Hunter TV. Uh, thanks so much, David. Uh, yeah, so get onto that and then, then like I said, subscribe. So there's about 13 in the can at the moment. So uh, there is one, yeah, one, 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 one per one week. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. there's only one available. See, that's right what now. I'm saving to binge it eventually, David. That's yeah. what I'm just here. <laughs> right, <whatever. laughs> All right. You, you're, you're here on Joy 94.9, Sunday Arts. Joy 94.9 is a GLB TIQ community radio station in Melbourne, Australia. Support Joy 94.9 by becoming a member at joy.org.au. Thanks for listening to another Joy podcast brought to you by Australia's LGBTQIA plus community media organisation, Joy. Help keep Joy on air. Head to joy.org.au.
Joy, a diverse sound for a diverse community.